Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Tonight is part three of the Painting Places series that I was doing and it's going to be the desert. So I'm using some oranges and some red and gold and even brown. So we'll see how this one comes out. I'm using the same technique that I did on the other two. I'll try to link them if you haven't seen them um, at the end of the video or down in the description, but it is a place uh, painting for different places that a client has been. So here's to hoping the desert turns out all right. Let's paint. All right, hello everyone. We are back for the next in this kind of, I guess you'd almost call it like Nature City series. Pop in the air bubbles. I just mix these paints up. So um, if you haven't seen the other two that I've done, I will try to remember to link them at the end of the video. Um, but, and I don't know exactly in which order you'll see them, but you should have seen um, the ocean and Chicago. And what this is, this is a series of four 16 by 40 inch canvases for a client. And they wanted to simulate places they've been. So they're doing the mountains, they're doing uh, the beach, the ocean, they're doing the desert, um, which they kind of wanted like Red Rocks, Vegas, Arizona type feel. So I'm using reds and oranges. Um, and then they wanted Chicago and Chicago, I was so excited about that color palette. It was amazing. Um, and each of them came from, you know, like some type of picture or color palette we picked. So I did mix up, I'll show you my colors really quick. I did mix up a, and it still has some air bubbles, um, a Van Dyke brown with gold in it. Gold will be my accent on this one, my metallic. I mixed up um, kind of a burnt orange with red and orange, cadmium orange. This is uh, Amsterdam's, uh, it's either gold yellow or yellow gold with a little bit of orange in it. And y'all, I just looked at my bottle of this and it says sky blue light. <laughs> I have been calling it sky blue for like three years. So yeah. Um, and then I've got a little bit of white and the blue it's funny how things kind of unfold because as I was doing these so this you know the this is kind of like the those jagged big like red rocks the brown obviously is in there and the gold but this was in the picture as the sky and that same sky blue light has been in all of the other paintings and it's really kind of what I think is going to tie them all together because they're all such different color palettes. So things kind of unfold just as they should sometimes. All right, so I'm going to do that same blowout um, where I am not gonna blow straight from the center. I'm gonna blow it out and then kind of blow some pieces back so that it's got some really good motion to it. I am gonna start with my brown and I'm gonna layer, I'm gonna save a little bit and put a little bit on top, I believe as well. Now I think I will go with my light orange that I mixed up. Brown always scares me, but I'm hoping that it's just gonna like really pull this painting together and work. All right, now I'm coming in with my, <laughs> it never fails that that happens to me. Okay. And then and I think I'll come in, I'll just drizzle some of the sky blue through there. Or just put it all down on the canvas. It's way, it's way too much paint at this point. Ah! Ooh, okay, now I'm gonna come through with gold. 
and I really, oh, nope, mm -mm, nope, I was gonna say, and I really am gonna drizzle that one, but I already just dumped a bunch right there. Okay, and this will end up probably being a really pretty, like, lighter brown color. Now I'm gonna come in with the white, and I am going to, I'm gonna do it this time. You wanna have enough paint on your canvas that you can blow some extra off if you want. And then I'm gonna come back in. Mm, I might regret this, but I'm gonna do some of the brown drizzled again. Okay. You want to be able to shift your composition if you want to. Blow it a few more times, do whatever you want to it, so you want enough paint on the canvas. going to blow this out. Fingers crossed that the brown doesn't go super muddy, uh, you know, okay, fingers crossed for me. I think this works. These colors. Oh. So first things first, way too much paint on the canvas. Uh, I should have used those smaller cups that I used on the other one. I'll show you what color I end up getting off of my table because I didn't have to pick anything out of it either. Second, the, 
a little air bubble right there, and that was just straight canvas. Um, the colors, phenomenal. The brown, just enough contrast. I was really worried because of the gold and the two oranges and adding the white that it would just be white or like really light. Um, but I am very happy with the colors. I just had one little thing. I'll put you over here on the side so I don't scrape you up. Uh, the brown works. I definitely have the colors that they were envisioning. The cells are great and I love the different blows in different directions. Stunning piece, super happy. I mean, I hope that they like it too, but all right, let me take you down, let me show you. Here is the color that this made. It's got a ton of air bubbles, so it's gonna have to sit for a long time, but it's like this terracotta caramel. I couldn't have made this color if I tried. I would have never even thought to. There's my table, I scraped it all up. And that is going to go, I'm just gonna put a lid on it and that'll go in another painting. It may even be the base for one. I don't know, this color is very interesting. I'll be excited to pick out some colors that go with it. Okay, so again, it's very large, so I have to take you up that way. The details in this one and the way it's gonna dry and my camera is showing it as really light, but it's not, there's just enough contrast. The gold is really pretty. That blue, I'm so glad I added that, it's perfect. The orange came through, the brown didn't muddy. Look at that corner. And look at this corner, that's my favorite right there with the dark brown, the bright orange, little tiny specks of the blue. Yeah, really happy. All right, so I will show you what it looks like dry. All right, next in line here. This is going with the rest of the series. And I mean, the details in this one I can't even get them all in view. It is amazing. Oh, the lacing and the cells that popped up down here. Super cool. Love, love the colors. And I just like how just kind of all over the place it is, honestly. I have to stand back here woo, to get it all in frame. So I will show you this one with the others. Okay, here they are. So this one was Chicago. This one is like the desert. Think Las Vegas, uh, like Arizona, New Mexico. And then this was the ocean. And the last one is going to be, I'll have to do it inside probably because I can't fit it here, but the last one will be like mountains in winter. All right, thank you for watching everyone. Happy painting. Bye.